and welcome back to this segment on our channel called Answering Your Most Googled Medical Questions by Heidi Gastro. And today's video is a very interesting and common topic. So let's get started. So in today's video, we'll explore what are the 10 causes of bad breath. So bad breath, also known medically as halitosis or malodor, can be embarrassing and tough not just on you, but for those around you too. Some people don't realize that their breath could peel paint because their friends or colleagues are often too afraid to tell them. And although this problem is often easy to fix, such as just chewing on a piece of gum, brushing your teeth or gargling with some mouthwash, sometimes bad breath may actually be caused by an underlying medical condition and may be a bit more serious to treat. Bad breath is often caused by a buildup of bacteria in your mouth that causes inflammation and gives off noxious odors or gases that smell a bit like sulfur or worse. Every one of us has nasty breath at some point, like when we get out of bed in the morning or if we haven't eaten for a few hours straight. But continuous bad breath that just can't seem to be kicked, even with the help of some chewing gum or Listerine, can throw up some red flags. So here are 10 causes behind your bad breath. Number one are cigarettes and tobacco products. So cigarette smoke has a very strong odor that can often linger on your breath. Smoking also dries out your mouth and a dry mouth is one of the most common reasons for halitosis. In addition to this, smoking is one of the leading causes of gum disease, which is another source of odor from the mouth. Number two is gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD. So chronic acid reflux, also commonly known as GERD, is a medical condition in which some undigested food from the stomach, regurgitated bile and stomach acids flow back up into your esophagus. The combination of this partially or undigested food and acid washing back into your mouth means that the mouth cavity gets filled with acidic contents. When this happens, the acid erodes away hard tissues and tooth enamel which then creates cavities that trap food where bacteria can feed and multiply quickly, which leads to terribly bad breath. Number three is gingivitis and periodontitis. So gingivitis is an inflammation of the gums, which is usually caused by a local bacterial infection. When one has gingivitis and periodontitis, there's a quick buildup of plaque and bacteria along their gum line that is usually responsible for their foul-smelling breath. Number four is a common cold or a respiratory tract infection. So infections in the lungs, such as bronchitis and pneumonia, or infection of the sinuses or airways, can also cause bad breath due to the presence of nasal secretions that may drain into the mouth. When this post-nasal drip builds up, it usually acts as a tasty meal for the odor-causing bacteria in our mouths. And mixed together with food particles and metabolites, this often leads to a foul smelling and putrid breath. Number five is xerostomia. So a dry mouth, also commonly known as xerostomia, refers to a condition in which the salivary glands in your mouth don't make enough saliva to keep your mouth wet and moist. Saliva is necessary to moisten the mouth, neutralize the acids produced by plaque, and wash away any dead cells that accumulate on the tongue, gums, and cheeks. If not removed, these cells decompose and can cause bad and nasty smelling breath. Number six is dental cavities. So dental cavities are tiny holes that develop in the hard surface of the teeth. They are often caused by bacteria on the surface of the teeth, creating acid out of sugar. While cavities do not directly cause bad breath, they can contribute to it. Bacteria and food can easily get stuck and accumulate in the decay pockets, and this often releases a very strong and unpleasant odor. Number seven are low carb diets. So if you're trying out a fad diet, such as a ketogenic diet or another low carb diet, then you'll most probably experience your fair share of halitosis too. Often the goal of a low carb diet is to move the body into ketosis, which helps it to burn fat faster. But during ketosis, the body produces a chemical called ketones, which has a very notable strong odor. 
Heat your breath can be fruity smelling or often have a strong nasty odour that's very similar to nail polish remover. Number 8 are onions and garlic. So the breaking down process of food particles in the mouth can cause odours, especially when these foods are eaten raw. Some foods such as onions and garlic cause bad breath because they contain cysteine sulfoxide, a sulfuric compound. Not only does this compound cause halitosis during the chewing process, but even when digested, their breakdown products are carried into the blood and to the lungs where they can further affect the breath again, thus causing a lingering odour. Number 9 is alcohol. So in spite of alcohol being liquid, it does actually lead to dehydration and less saliva production in many individuals. This causes most of us to have a dry mouth which as we discussed earlier stimulates bacterial overgrowth and in turn promotes the growth of bacteria in our mouth that causes a very unpleasant oral aroma. And finally number 10 which is fetal hepaticus. So fetal hepaticus meaning stinky smelling liver occurs when your breath has a strong musty smell and is usually a sign that your liver is having trouble doing its job of filtering out toxic substances due to severe liver disease. And as a result of this liver disease, sulfur substances end up in your bloodstream and can make their way to your lungs, which during expiration leads to a noticeable smell in your breath. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share and please make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. If you would like to help us make better videos and content, you can also donate to us via PayPal. Take care and thanks for joining me today as I explore the 10 causes of bad breath.